No matter what type of circumstances that you have been raised in or have experienced, you always have the ability to find a way out and create success for yourself. And I had to do that in my own life. I'd see all the college students go towards the campus and I thought to myself, where are they going? What, what are they doing? Why do they look different than the rest of the people that are in the, the group? And, and that always kept in the back of my head. And our mother said, whatever you do, in order to change your circumstance, you're going to have to get an education. I would go to this school that was like in a predominantly well-off area and everyone had books and, and paper and really nice shoes. <laughs> and I remember looking at this thinking, oh, I don't have any of that. And every time I would come back into my neighborhood, I would see the graffiti and I'd see the, the trash. And I thought to myself, what makes a difference? Why are there people here in this situation versus here in this situation? And every single day I would come back and it came down to this. It was the thinking, how we think, how we look at situations, whether or not we see ourselves doing well and being successful or versus if we see ourselves as a, a not successful person in an environment, our thinking defines our life. What happened was I was failing algebra. I failed algebra. I failed geometry. I failed uh, what, what, calculus and chemistry. And uh, there was this calculus teacher that said, all right, I'm going to offer uh, calculus tutoring for anyone who's willing to come to the campus during the winter break. And I thought everyone was going to show up. There was only myself. Wow. And, and I thought to myself, this is such a blessing. And I sat there and I, I picked his brain. I'm like, how, how do I look? What does an integral mean? Uh, what does the, the tangent mean? Uh, what does the instantaneous rate mean? And these are all words for derivative and, and calculus. And I got a chance to sit down with them. And that was the first time ever that I realized I was smart. And when I sat with him, uh, it was amazing because I realized what was stopping me was my own fear. It wasn't, it wasn't anything with my educational aspect. It was me thinking I couldn't do well in mathematics. And when I learned to remove that fear and think, I'm going to do this no matter what's going to happen. I may fail it. I may not fail it. I'm going to do well at this and I'm going to just, just see where it goes. I'm going to put my all into it and we'll find out. And I put my all into it and I failed. But it, it, something inside of me shifted. I realized, hey, failing wasn't that bad. If I can, if I can like spend a little bit more time at it, I can actually do really well at this. And that was the shift in thinking. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna spend some more time in it and I'm gonna actually get this. And that confidence that was built from taking something that I failed at before and shifting my thinking about it and embracing it to actually create a new reality for myself, that's what empowered me. And that's what allowed me to graduate top of my class, which later on opened up the door to launch rocket.